You already know, we the outsiders coming back to you from Kids Bay Boys and Girls Club. Kudera Clubhouse. Summer Camp 2022. Woo! I'm back at it again, guys. You already know. It's Deron. I'm 12 years old. And I would like to introduce my fellow host, starting to my left. Um, My name is Angel, and I'm 13. My name is Kamal, and I'm 13. My name is Jen, and I'm 12. Now, I just want to know. I mean, I have an interesting topic for y'all today, and it's what would you ask a famous person if they were on this podcast? Oh, that's that's really hard, not going to lie. Good, let's start with the host. Okay. Me, my famous person, in my opinion, I don't know. I feel like I would choose J. Cole. J. Cole? Uh, I, I don't relate. I relate to him kind of, like, his lifestyle is kind of nice. He acts as a normal person on the outside, but on the inside, you know, like, he's rich, he has all this stuff. He walks outside with normal clothes. He rides a bike everywhere he goes. He doesn't have no bodyguards because he's not into that gang stuff, you know. He's living a local life, how every human being should be, like a in my opinion. Person. Yeah. yeah. What, would you, what would you say to J. Cole if he was here right now? If he was here right now, uh, I will probably ask him, how does he get the lifestyle? Obviously, I know he puts in the work that are out, but like, where should I start off if I wanted to be like him? Because if I wanted to be like that, I would want to get a career. I, mean, I would have to get the setup, the everything. I just want to know like where he started off as a person, and before he got famous, I want to know his background and everything. Yeah, I mean that's that's, I mean that's kind of normal, but like it's it's like more in depth to like how he how he does his music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, me. I don't know. I mean, I really, I really think I would ask like. It could be anybody. NBA yeah, player. anybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, it could be a celebrity. A celebrity. Um, how, uh, probably like you know, you know, uh, Andrew, uh-huh. Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. Oh yeah, I know who yeah. that is. Huh. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I would probably <laughs> ask him. Uh, like, what, what, like, if, if, cause I know he be, he be saying that, um. Uh, all his cars like they're, that he he be riding in, they're they're rented it on that. I would yeah. I would I would ask like if, like he, if he's telling the truth, like if he's if he's um actually renting all these cars. He's not. He I don't think them. he rents them. He, yeah, buys, he them. buys them. All that money he has, why would he rent yeah. them and keep renting them and keep yeah. renting oh, them? You know what that would make him? Because I you know what that would make him. That would make him a. That was mad goofy. Oh nah, that don't work out. That, that was yeah. Nah, that, that would make him a goofy. I mean, yeah. I mean, but but but, but I I, see, I heard it in like a couple podcasts. That he but said listen, that. listen, look. Yeah. Andrew Tate records on Instagram when he like does, he's yeah. w- when he's walking into like a Bugatti shop or something. Yeah. He be a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 He comes yeah. out yeah. with a black Bugatti. Like he has to understand. Where he started from. But not going to lie, yeah. Andrew Tate has some weird stories, but we're not going to get into that. We're not getting into yeah, those yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, but what do you think where he keeps these cars? Like, I mean, he has a, I know, he, I think he has a big house and big in garage. Romania. I would keep yeah, my cars Romania. in a warehouse. Technically. Yeah, but what would yeah. you warehouse. say to Andrew Tate if he was That's what, what you? said. Yeah. You would ask I him said, about the rental cars? Yeah. That's your only question you would have answered. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. I, 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 got no, I, I don't got that many questions <laughs> Like for a celebrity. You good. Um, My celebrity, I'd probably say Drake. Why Drake? Oh, yeah. Um, Why Drake? He, he an Ash <laughs> fan. He an <laughs> Ash <laughs> fan. Ash is a fan. Um, Ash is a fan. I would Big ask. Fan. Okay. Okay. Ready. Um, <laughs> Drake. <laughs> I want to, like, the first thing I would ask him would be, like, how when did he start this music? And um, what does he feel like when he's, like, making his music? Sort of, yeah. But something else I want to say. Um, uh, mm, yeah, we, we got Ah, uh, maybe you meant to say, wait, you said how he starts his music? Yeah, sorry, how he started yeah. his career? Maybe yeah, you would like, like to ask him. Where did he start his career? Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's it, supposed to come out. Yeah. Wasn't he yeah. born? He born? He was born in Canada. Canada. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah Canada. he's Canadian. He's Canadian. Yeah, he's Canadian. He's I Canadian. never knew that about him. Yeah, like I realized I, I that, he, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, I Drake has the flow, the money, you don't everything really he wants. The Canadian he has it. Him. You don't see the Canadian in it. Yeah, but, yeah, like, really. All you guys like. Y'all want to be famous. Y'all want to be doing this NBA, all that, da da da. But y'all gotta realize the work that comes into it. You have to wake up six a.m. Drills. If you want to be a music artist, Work. you have to 
you have to go on a diet, I think, to get a better voice. You have to drink things. You have to start singing there and then, there and then. You have to take vocal to get, classes. Yeah, vocal classes mm-hmm. and all the other stuff. Yeah, I think everything is and easy. It's not easy. It. Just because you know you have social media like TikTok. TikTok is a free way to get promoted. Sure. <laughs> you don't need no talent to that. Charlie D'Amelio hopped in that start doing this and she got 100 million views. Like, but y'all got... Oh, sorry. Y'all have to know what comes... Behind it, they have to make the dances up mm-hmm. before they just post it. They have That's to a realize that there's it. hard work behind yeah. it. Yeah, That's people just work. like, oh, she doesn't do anything. Y'all can hate on her as much as y'all want, but y'all know demo behind the scenes. She does the dances on her own. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She has to practice them, mm-hmm. and and it takes yeah. at least two or three hours just to practice. Them. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, That's nah, just nah, you. Nah, you're bugging. That's just you're bugging. Bugging. You're bugging. Five to ten nah, jet tripping. Five to ten minutes. That's what I'm saying. Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. What about you? Yeah. Mm. Celebrity. Uh huh. I want yeah. Angel's chair right now. You know, like Oof. facing me. Word. <laughs> um. Mm. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> Damn, this is hard. Yeah. Hmm. I, I have so many people the out heat. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Cause Come like, on. There's a lot of. There's a lot of celebrities out there. That's Just the first one on your mind. First, one, first, one, first one, one that comes up in your mind. The first one that comes up to my mind is, hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. This taking a, uh, <laughs> a, a hot minute. <laughs> Bro, I'm so, probably Tate's brother. Tate's brother? Tate's, Tate's brother. Why? Older brother. Why? Because Andrew and I don't, I don't remember his brother's name. He yeah, ran them to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know his brother. Yeah. Yeah. Look, him... And and Andrew like been taking care of themselves for the like for longest for, for the, the longest. longest. Oh yeah, yeah cause, I don't know cause if you remember because remember in one podcast he said that um they had to go on the trash because in the restaurant they used to like they used to go for a throw oh, no yeah, no no throw no, good no food hold on that hold on no it was not it was not a restaurant they used to go behind the KFC and oh, wait for people yeah. to throw out their fried chicken <laughs> they he used to go back home give it to his brother and they eat it. Exactly. You know, people have to value their food. Like, well, my mother mm-hmm. used to tell me, don't throw away the food. Just save it in the microwave or something. Refrigerator. Like, mm-hmm. I used to never value that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just food. But, but now, then now, yeah, but now, now that I'm like, older, yeah, I feel can, more mature. I feel like understand it. I understand it more. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the other day, I bought a hash brown from McDonald's, and I didn't even want it for real. So, um... Uh, I'm not going to call him crackhead. There was a homeless person uh, in front of the McDonald's. I think her name was Wendy. We had a nice conversation. People are just really nice. You just and have to see you what this yeah. personality yeah. is. Some some people, she some said people, she wasn't hungry, but think. I still gave her the hash brown, and she ate it. I haven't seen her since. I think she's still on University Avenue. And if y'all don't know, Kids Bay is also on University Avenue. You got to come on. You know what I'm saying? Best mm-hmm. camp ever. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, cause some people, some people will be judging, th- judging these uh, homeless people. Yeah, and they, they don't they treat them. Right. Yeah, like, like they're they're all they're all like crackheads. Like, crackheads. They, like they're, like they're not they, treating them right at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, they just, think they think they're something, but they're they're really not. People feel more superior that like they mm-hmm. walk over the homeless people just because of what they are. But in reality, what if your parents were in that place once? And you wanted somebody to help them out. You see how that would feel like? Or like just, imagine if you were in that place. Yeah, put yourself in them shoes. Like, just don't be a weirdo. Exactly. Yeah. But let me finish my story. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so, back to what I was saying. You know, Andrew and his brother were, like, taking care of themselves for the past, like, I don't know how much they've been living. Uh-huh. And now, like, you know, they top Gs for me. Mm-hmm. Like, they're... They're like on top of the world right now. Like it's they like they have all the money. Yeah, they, yeah, they have. They have, they have all, all the money. Stuff, they have yeah. all the fame. But I have a question. Fame. Why would you ask them? Um, how did you make it? How did you make it? Yeah, that is. I mean, because the, they, they, they were there. poor. How did you make it to the top? He came out of nowhere to podcast. Um, yeah. I believe. What you call it? He started an organization yeah. from the bottom, and, and then it was he like, started catch boxing. I remember. He, yeah, he did, start, he did, he did. But he that did. wasn't the organization. The yeah, organization, that was it, it was, was like it. him at the top, and then whenever other people buy it, they share it to other people, and they get money, money, money. Oh, it, like, goes yeah. up to each person, and it all leads up to Andrew Tate. He's made over yeah. a billion, no, no not 100, $100 million yeah, dollars yeah, something like that. in this past year. Yeah, but It hasn't his, even been that much yet. His and brother was the was the person that gave him the idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they so both, they both succeed. You can That's always, what I'm saying. like, 
I will say this, even though that you're poor or anything, you can always follow your dream and still get up there to accomplish your goal. Just keep going. And Just also, like, look, look, never stop. Also, something awesome about the brothers is that they never do anything alone. They never. Never. Yeah, they they always never stick by each other's side. Like one brother together. would go on the jet, the other one would follow. Like, exactly. Literally, they will do everything together. Never leave each other's side. That's, a, that's and another question. That's a good bond. That's like, another question. If that's I had that need. bond with my brother, I obviously have a brother. I have a good bond with him. But the bond that they have is like significant. Like if it was ever ruined, it had to be something tragic because yeah, they're question. always good. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Like you as you said, uh, with your little brother, right? Um, you would protect the, your little brother, right? Obviously. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's say if a person was coming up to you and um, they were bothering your little brother and you didn't know it, and you didn't know it, right? Uh huh. So they're like bothering your brother. The point. Okay, I'll get to it. Yeah, get to the point. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> so a few minutes later, your little brother starts screaming. Word. Would you walk up to him? Why would I just sit there and watch? Like. Mm -hmm. That was mad goofy. That's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, I walk up to them, approach the situation before I, like, you know what I'm saying? They do Lay my hands on somebody. I have to understand like, the situation before. What would you say to before. that person, though? If they bother my brother first, I would just be like, keep your hands to yourself. I would ask for their supervisor and then, like, check their adult guardian or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll probably tell my mother, and my mother will take it from there. But, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's normal. Not gonna lie. But you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I would Personally, I would never let that slide. That's <laughs> just me, though. That no, I would never let nobody touch my brother. Like, mm -hmm. on the real, though. That's what if, I, if I knew about it. Family is the Same first with my thing sister. that comes first. Like, y'all got siblings? Yeah, yeah. I got, I got Come I got on, siblings. like, I got don't, tell, don't tell yourself that you'll never do that. Like, yeah. if you were in that situation, like, your sibling getting bullied or something, like, you can't tell yourself that you want to do something about it. And to be honest, I hate people that be like, oh, my brother's so annoying. He bothers me, this and that. Yo, I have the same thing. My brother could bother me as much as he wants. Exactly. But in my heart, I would yeah. still love him. Like, yeah. I would never, like, be like, he's not annoying. Go do this. Go end your life. Like, people just do that because they feel, they they feel that their brother is yeah. more superior than them. Like, it's never going to be like that. And you're also lucky for having a sibling. Exactly. exactly. They have to so understand the value of it. Because you would have never had nothing. All right. All right, well, guys, you already know. Let's end it off again. My we name out. is Deron, yeah, 12 years old. I just want you to know I'm the best host in the city. Mm. Him online, because nah, you not, already he's know not lying. He's I'm not lying. Not lying. Not lying. I'm the best. Hold on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. If you want more, listen to us on Spotify or subscribe and like on our YouTube. Goodbye. <laughs>